welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my chinchilla routine. So I'm right here with the chinchilla right now. I have this fruits and veggies. I have everything ready. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, so the chinchilla cannot wait for me to get him out. Let him come onto my lap. Hey, Junior. Hey, buddy. He absolutely cannot wait. He, he loves doing this. Yes, hello, buddy. Hello. Oh my gosh, I love this chinchilla so much. Um. Yes, hello, buddy. So I think I, so. Yesterday, he, I'm gonna go and refill the little container I have of his delivered almond treats. Ouch, buddy! He's trying to chew on my pants. Okay, buddy, don't jump out, honey. But, uh, so he, he really loves almonds, especially slivered ones. So, um, buddy, could you go back in? So there you are, Junior. Look at your cute face. So I <laughs> got him back into the cage. He loves being on my lap. So the first thing I'm probably going to do today is refill his little treat Tupperware. A slivered... Slivered almonds. So usually I don't need to do this, but I'm just going to take that and pour a few in here. Almonds. Do you want your slivered almonds? Well, this is really hard to do with one hand. Just a minute. Junior, do you want one of these treats? You take that, honey. Oh, buddy. He is so sweet. Now, once he begins to like you, he is so sweet. He's like seriously the most sweet little animal you could ever see in your life. I'm just kidding, that's not true. But the first thing I'm going to do today is pour out his pellets. So then I'm gonna put this right up here and then first grab his fruits and veggies from here. So I'm gonna put his lettuce in. He'd probably take a little less than that. He just likes romaine lettuce. Okay, I'm just gonna tell you when I'm done. While I'm feeding him, you can just say hi to Junior, I suppose. Well, I'm just giving him carrots right now. I'll give him a carrot for this year too. Oh, he doesn't want it. Put all of that into his bowl. But now I'm just grabbing his pellets. Okay, he doesn't like his pellets quite as much as the lettuce, but I'll be back when I put it in his cage. There we go, there is that. I'm gonna throw these little hay scraps in the garbage from the shelf. I mean, not the shelf, the upper floor. Um, and I'm also gonna grab his hay thing and put it into the, well, not like this thing into the trash, just the hay. Okay, now we're just going to put some, put some hay into here. Okay. Got a bunch of hay. I'm going to try to make sure that this is filled all the time. About this much hay has worked for him. There's still a little bit left usually. But, you know, like 70% of their diet or so is hay. They, it's like basically... <laughs> most important thing for their diet, so yeah. Might not be true, but I bet they could just live off of hay and water and then survive. But I'm not saying that you should do that, because basically the, the good thing to give your chinchilla for their diet is just like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, pellet food, a mixture of pellet food, hay, a few veggies, um, yeah, those are like some really good things to give your chinchilla. Oh, look at you, Junior. Look at you. Oh, he loves being pet. Yes. Yes, that's you, Junior. Okay. Well, now I'm just going to close this. I'm done with the feeding part, so I'm just going... Oh, he's eating. Oops, now he's jumping. 
Okay, now I'm just going to put the wheel in the right place and vacuum his enclosure a little bit. Actually, you know what? First, I'm going to give him a sand bath and you get to see from above. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, let's see. I'm just gonna grab a sand bath. I mean, dust bath. This is so cool to watch. Junior, don't eat the duct tape. You want to go into the sand bath. Usually goes in right away, but sometimes he doesn't. Yeah, maybe today's just not a dust bath day for him. Buddy, not. You don't want to eat the duct tape. Okay, well, I guess today is not a sand, I mean, dust bath day for him. So let's get to the vacuuming. Then, of course, it's time to put our wheel back into our enclosure. Okay, buddy. Just want to put it in the exact perfect place. Because he likes to run behind it. I think that's kind of his safe spot. And so it's under his hut. But yeah, those are his few safe spots. And then, yeah, this spot works very well for him with the wheel. But now I'm going to vacuum a little bit. Like I said, I was like the last five clips. Don't worry, he doesn't get scared by this. He's very used to it. So yeah. Oh, buddy, I don't want to vacuum with your tail in front of me. So I guess we're kind of done now. But usually the last thing I do is I kind of just sit in my chair and I let him come onto my lap. Junior, he loves, he just loves coming onto my lap. Hey, Junior, do you like eating treats? He is seriously the sweetest chinchilla. Yeah, look at you. Hello, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Oh, look at him. Isn't he so cute? I'm not going to pick him up today because I picked him up yesterday. And I want to give him a break every time I pick him up. Because um, he doesn't like being picked up the, very much, but I, I'm getting him used to it, kind of. Yes. Yes. He just likes to sit in my lap sometimes. He's so cute. Hey, buddy. He's so sweet. He even does this without a treat. It's so cute. I'm gonna get another treat. Hello, Junior. You're so cute. It's okay, buddy. I literally have this little chair and I always like just let him kind of crawl onto my knees and it's so cute. Yeah, hello. This is, uh, this is usually the last thing I do, really. So, Junior, do you want to come here and say bye-bye to them with me? So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Say bye! Bye!